Welcome guys to this new video of TechPress. I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Twitter ads. It's going to be a really, really easy tutorial. But in order to get started and to be on the same page here, we want you to have all a Twitter account. Now that you have your Twitter account, you want her to have a Twitter for your actual business in order to get started with some Twitter ads. So if you open any tab, I can totally suggest to you to do this tutorial using your computer or a smart device like an iPad. So this is gonna be much more faster and much more easy to understand, but if you still wanted to use your phone, your smartphone, it's gonna be a little bit more hard, but still it's the same, uh, let's say the same stuff here. So. What you wanted to do is to go into business.twitter.com, already been signed into your account, and you wanted to get started with start advertising. So uh, just changing your account from a single account into a business account is gonna be a process that's gonna be just taking like two seconds. So it's gonna be really, really uh, easy, the actual stuff into Twitter. Now into the 2023 with the new empire of Elon Musk, there is something that you needed to understand. And to only make ads, we needed to have a subscription of Twitter Blue, as it says in here. Only verified advertisers can run ads on Twitter. Click here and subscribe to the Blue uh, Twitter mark. So if I click here, it's going to be sending me into this new blue batch that I can, let's say, pay monthly or annually. That totally depends on what you're trying to look for. And as you can see, here is the element that we can get started with. So once you have the description of Twitter blue, which I think is uh, not accurate for us, but once you have this, you can go back into your simple ads. And here's going to be asking you what is your main objective, whether you wanted to just reach for more people, you wanted to create more engagement, more likes, retweets, replies, you wanted to get more followers or you wanted to get more visitors to your website, choose the option the best suits for you. In my case, what I wanted to do is to look out to reach users with high intent. This one is like, uh, let's say, for example, I can get more chances to discover new audiences and they are more likely to follow me and let's say do what I try to do into my let's say website let's say i can incentivize people to check out my website to check out my contents to like my content to retweet them uh, to follow me so you don't have to go into something specific but to just let's say have a high intent so hit into next and then it's going to be asking you to create a keyword ad so that totally depends on what you're trying to look for for example here a keyword ad let's go for what is happening here let's say that um and now it's going to be asking me to change some stuff if I wanted to. I'm going to hit now into next. And it's going to be sending me into the customize and delivery. So the customized delivery is going to be showing me the demographics, the charging features, the budget, and the payment method. In order to get started, I wanted to focus into demographics. This one should be helping me to, let's say, focus into in a specific targeting audience. So let's say that I wanted to focus into any gender. But from age, let's say that my post is interesting for people uh, from 18 in 34 years so i'm going to be a little bit more specific check it out into the upper side that we were reaching now a small potential artist we have to 12 million i wanted to locate uh let's say only people from canada like this location let's go for canada but inside canada you can focus into in a specific part of canada for example uh, ontario you can use uh, another place i can just enable this one i can disable mexico for example and i have now six million people here if i focus from 18 to 24 i have two million people so we wanted to reach for a small audience but in a specific audience that can be helping us to gain uh, more stuff and targeting features is going to be helping us to have our let's say numbers a little bit more smaller but more specific level so let's say for example that we says target add-ins into keywords what i want to do is to type something related into what we're actually looking for let's say for example music so into music we have a global audience size of 46 million people but if i focus into let's say alternative rock there is eight uh thousand people 
instead of millions. So I choose this option and to the upper side, my audience is now too small. So I needed to add more style. Let's say for example, indie pop. And say for example, I just wanted to focus into people who is with iOS and Android, for example. There we go. Now into languages, only focus into people that speaks English, right? And enters this, you wanted to go and look out for music, for example, music and radio. Um, now, lastly, here into my budget, depending on what is your actual budget, this one should be, uh, let's say, taking you into more chances to get to more people or less, less, or less chances to get more people. So if I focus into $400 um, daily, I might be having this rich potential. But if I focus into, let's say, only $4, for example, and my date range, of course, is going to be, uh, let's say, a little bit less, but I can maybe get from th the 13th of July, but now into 31 of August. So it's going to be like a really, really much wider audience and, and stuff. So later on, you're going to go into the payment method and you can add your credit card in order to get to get started with. Once you have successfully done that, you wanted to go into the upper side and say, analytics and go into your account and you can check out all the analytics inside your actual tracking of your Twitter so as you can see guys it was really easy to get started with the analytics of Twitter once again sometimes it's a little bit tricky to have to pay for the Twitter blue but at the end of the day everything's gonna be helping us Twitter for you maybe this can be accurate to get started into Twitter so with that being said we have now reached the very end of the video so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools here of how we can get started with some tweet ads and into the business of Twitter. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. I'll see you next time.